Hello everyone, and we're back with another episode of Goods 404. I went ahead and converted all of those uh, iron blocks into iron and made me some armor, a new sword, we have our diamond pickaxe from last episode. So we're sitting pretty good as, uh, as it is stands now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and head back to the intersection, the lava pit intersection, and uh, we're going to continue from there. So. I will start recording again when I get there. Okay guys, uh, I was walking along here and I looked up and noticed a chest. So I turned the camera back on because I want you guys to, to see with, with me what's in this chest up here. Now I'm kind of leery because it's in the wall. And we know how things like to be hidden in the wall here. Is it a trap? Is it not? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, it doesn't appear to be a trap. <laughs> oh, another diamond pickaxe. Okay. I'm going to leave that there, just in case something bad were to happen to my current pickaxe or to me, cause me to lose that. So, But we're coming up on the intersection here, so I will go ahead and skip ahead to that. And we'll see you in a minute. All right, back at Lava Pit Intersection, uh, we're going to go this way today. Uh, since we burned down the keg going that way and found that wool. Um, and apparently there was enough darkness over there for some mobs to spawn because as I was walking up, a creeper jumped on my head. That's why you'll notice down there I'm losing like half a sliver of armor. It's because a creeper decided he was gonna gonna explode on top of me. But I didn't die, so that's all that matters, right? Uh, oh, lupus. And mobs. Like crazy. Nice. Hmm. Well, since it seems to be the trend for me to go left, we're gonna go left. Go ahead and try to, to skirt as many of these as we can. Uh, oh, skeleton party over here. Let's give them a greeting. A couple of arrows. They like arrows, right? It's their favorite weapon. Oh. Oh. Right in the face. In your face, skeleton. In your face. Man, that's a lot of arrows. So this area looks pretty wide open. I'm just glad it's not covered in void fog. I hate the freaking void fog. It drives me bonkers. A sand hill with some some glowstone here. Huh? And a tower with some lava in it. It looks like a standard chest of supplies. A skeleton trying to sneak up on me. Lots and lots of mobs over there. So we're going to have to light this up as we go. And I, I did see that creeper pop behind there. Uh, maybe we'll light this whole area up. I brought a lot of torches with me this time. Man, them skeletons are just popping up like crazy. Did you see all of them just show up? in these dark areas here. Would hate to think we lit everything up and then come back to to fun time with uh, Mr. Skeleton. Sounds like a, a name for a bad uh, bad porno movie or something. I outstrafed you, Mr. Skeleton. Yeah, that's right. I'm a better skeleton than you are. Alright, let's take out this creeper. Don't want him to ruin our day while we're walking along. Oh, 
Oh god, spiders. Run away. Alright, seems like we got away from them. Let's turn around and give them a give them a parting gift. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Although I'm running out of arrows rather quickly. Might not be the best idea doing it this way. So let's do this. Burn, baby, burn! Yes, I like using that song with lava. Okay. Since we got the lava light here, let's go around and drop a couple more torches. Yeah, creeper, so we run. Back over here, let him go for a swim. Ring around the lava. It's a new child's game from Minecraft. Do not look directly at the Enderman. Alright, got some torches down here. Toss some more down there. Pick up my lava bucket. All right, seems like we're we're lighting this up pretty good. Good, good. That's right, lava bucket maniac. Just look at all those mobs burn. It's a beautiful thing, people. It's a beautiful thing. How the hell did that skeleton spawn in the middle of that? Alright. Once I get the way over here clear enough with light. We'll start making our way back towards those tower and everything that I saw over there. Hello. Yeah, let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Good. All right. So I'm liking that that clear path over here. Got some Endermen. Just don't look right at them. Should be okay. Got spiders over there. Some zombies. Uh, zombies are easy to take care of. Simple enough. Uh, we got some wood over here. Let's see what's underneath it. Just hope it isn't a giant freaking fire like my keg was here. Cause that would be cool. Would not be cool at all. Looks like it got a. Supposed to be a lighthouse, I guess, over here. Yeah, that probably spawned right here, so. I don't have this much light. There we go. Oh, and somebody asked me what difficulty level I've been playing this on on my last video. And just to show you guys, I'm on hard. Gotta play it on hard, right? Make it easier to die. It's no fun if nobody gets to see you die. I got a few dark spots over here. Let's give it a little, give it a little light. Set some light on the situation. 
Come on, creeper. Come on, master creeper. That wood did not burn. It's weird. And burn the tower down with lava. I got some bad stuff over here. Such an light. Oh, did you see that? Ah ha ha ha! The smoke gave it away. Just glad it wasn't like that one in the first hallway. Holy shit! Oh, <laughs> press one, not escape. <laughs> Oh, that was fun. So I bet you there's more spiders down here. And the... Well, it's just just there to spawn. Make you go nuts. Hello, spider. Goodbye, spider. Take your your eight-legged kind and, and get the hell out of my my area. Why are this? Oh, that's right. Duh. I'm a dumbass. It only burns if it's on the same level or below. It won't burn if it's above a wooden item. I knew that. I used that in my map. I don't know why I was an idiot like that. My apologies to you guys. I'm sitting here waiting for this thing to catch on fire, and uh, it's never going to catch on fire. Make it out of half slabs? Are they not flammable? Maybe? I don't know. I haven't tried to. I think I broke the ground. It's not to look directly. At the, oh shit! Oh my god! Oh. There's a trio! Holy god! Oh lovely, a creeper. Wow, those skeletons just decided they were to come, uh, come blow my stuff up. Ouch. You see the arrow sticking right out the top of his head. <laughs> That's right. I out arrowed you. I'm gonna go through so many arrows here. I'm gonna have to go back and farm some more up. Alright, we're just gonna break these by hand. Cause I don't know about you guys, but this would seem like the perfect place to hide something. Like that. Getting getting in his mind. Knowing how he thinks. Bam, there goes the spawner. Pop goes the spawner. Oh now you catch on fire. Ha ha ha. It did that just to mess with my head, didn't it? the game it knows. Yes, I know. I use a lava a lot. But, it's one of my favorite weapons. Which, you guys know. That, and bow and arrow. Anything I don't have to get up close and personal anytime is always a good thing for me. Alright, we have a building over here. I'm gonna go take a look inside of it. Let's see what we find. Okay, once those guys burn up, everything's all good. It's good. It's good. Let me give this a little bit of light. I'm almost out of torches, and we have to make some more soon. I hear a skeleton nearby. I wonder if he's in this tower. You, if I were a skeleton, where would I hide? Alright, let's make a few more torches. Some charcoal, and bam, we got some more torches. Mm, 
Well, he's not in here, but they're around here somewhere. Jesus, spider. I know you're up there. Hmm. Go for a run. Go for a run. Alright, you're done. What if he's in the top part? Probably. It'd be the only place he could really hide. Let's light up a little bit over here. I like my light. I like my light. The skeletons. Over yonder. If you couldn't tell, I'm the kind of person that in first person shooter games I like to snipe a lot. So you either hate it or you don't. Either you hate it or you love it. Those kind of those kind of people. I don't like to camp, I just like to snipe. Don't get me wrong, I can fight up close too. I'm not one of those well let's stand in one corner of the map and, and snipe you all the time. No, no, I I, I go out into the fray and the in. Please sign in. Um, ding ding. Nope, nobody's here. I think I'll just take over. Sound good? Sound good. Hey, look, purple wool. Yeah, crafting bench. Whole entire building made out of wood. A luxurious bedroom with the TV and Minecraft. Woo! Oh, almost crashed there for a second. And some note blocks. Where's that? A, that looks like a radio. I'm in that jukebox. So if I had a record, I could play it. And another bed. Hmm. I think I'm going to set my spawn here, if I can. There we go. Take a nap. That way, if, if I die, I don't have to run all the way back. Always a good thing, right? Right, right. So now it's daytime again. And we can see a little bit further now, because it's daytime. It's amazing, you're underground and still daytime and nighttime affects you. Let's shoot this creeper in the head. I'm about to need some food. So I've been going crazy, killing everything around. So let's we'll slowly walk around and eat some grub. And survey our surroundings a little bit. Maybe we can get a better view from over here. You're still burning. Fine by me. Mobs, mobs everywhere. Drop some more torches down. Enderman griefing everything you see. It's always fun when it's not you. It's, yeah, it's getting grieved. It's, I don't know, sometimes in the new new uh, lighting setting, it's kind of hard to tell when things will spawn. It used to be easy. But now I have such a hard time. It's like you want to place torches every square inch now. Because it just doesn't look right. So, yeah. That's a lot of creepers. So what we're going to do is we're going to run up, drop a bucket, run back the other way. There you go, just right. Alright, took care of all those creepers. Let's shoot you in the head. We're slowly making our way across this landscape here. Lighten things up as we go. See, like right there, it's dark. I'm for sure it would stuff would spawn there if I didn't didn't light her up. So yeah, if anyone has a, a clue on how things are lit, you know, feel free to let me know because I have a hard time telling it apart anymore. I used to be really good at it before the new lighting. Whoa! Okay, that was the dead zombie making that sound. It's like, dude, sounds like he was right on top of me. Got a creeper coming, so I'm gonna throw my lava bucket out. And there he goes. See, I like walking on this a lot better than I did that sand in the other one, because 
And as far as I know, there's no way to make a, a stupid trap with with uh, with lupus, where it falls out from underneath you when you update the block. That'd be an interesting thing to see, where you can disguise one block as another. That would be a cool addition to Minecraft, I would think. You know, you see a you see a, a stone block and it's actually sand, or you know, it's camouflaged. Maybe it looks a little like a weird sand block, to where if you looked at it really close, you could tell. Yeah, but I'm not the designer, so I don't make those calls. Ooh, creepy. <laughs>